Glennon Randa, 1971, directed by Jim McBride, starring Stephen Curry, Shelley Plimpton, and Sidney Miller. Decades after a nuclear war devastated the world, a young nomadic couple living in the forest venture out in an attempt to find a city. This film was suggested before my move. Thank you for your patience. There is male nudity within the first 20 seconds. The events of the film are portrayed in a very frank and matter-of-fact way, something I've noticed is a very common attribute of 70s films. The main characters are phenomenally written and portrayed. They're convincing products of a post-societal collapse. They eat bugs. They catch fish and eat semi-raw meat. They show no knowledge of any societal cues or acceptable behavior. They waste supplies because they have no survival skills whatsoever. The entire film skirts the line between a stage play, a performance art, and an art film. The film was made on an estimated budget of about $300,000, so unfortunately there aren't any substantial post-apocalyptic visuals. There is absolutely no soundtrack in the traditional sense, which works in the film's favor in conveying the desolate conditions of the world. Verdict? Recommended. A bleak but compelling experience with an effectively bare-bones approach. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.